Hey Libra, good morning. We're going to do your reading today. I'm Victoria B. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm not going to repeat the information. You know it's for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You can reverse the roles, male or female, and you can vice versa the story. And it will not resonate with every Libra. I'm going to be using the Lightworker Oracle for your Oracle cards. We got number 25, uh, Merkaba Spiritual Protection. You may be feeling, Libra, I'm getting you're feeling psychologically overloaded or energetically overloaded. You're carrying the weight for everybody. You're carrying others on your back and in your head. So you need some kind, it's just causing you to have doubt, fear, despair, be mentally anguished. And it's also causing you to not be able to discern what energy is yours and what's somebody else's. So this kind of, this is a common thing for empaths, psychics, mediums, or sensitive people, artists, performers. So you need a spiritual cleansing. I'm going to put a spiritual cleansing invocation slash meditation in the description box. And there's something that's bothering you. Uh, there's a, a, I'm getting it's a relationship. There's a relationship around you that's just draining you. This person's draining you. They're putting negative energies into your fields. And you're not sure if it's them. This meditation will give you the answer. You need to do it for at least three weeks or three, day, uh, three days or three weeks. It's in the description box. Um... It will give you the answer that you're looking for. Is this is this person you're with? Are they are they putting negative? Are they transforming their negative energy to you? And it's it's draining you, okay? But you'll get clarity with this. Try it and see, if, or do your own meditation. Try this. You need you need a spiritual cleansing though. You need to cleanse your house, sage your house, um, do do a cleansing ritual for yourself, okay? And then we have reassurance of the golden light. This card was number. 25 this card is number 36 reassurance of the golden light this is just telling me that spirit is saying that wherever you go now you're protected you have the golden you have the white light of protection around you so any decisions or any decisions you try to make that you're trying to make now to move forward that even though it seems hard it's going to work out for you all you do is call upon it and Imagine you have a white light around you and extend it all the way up into the sky to the heavens and meditate on that anytime you feel like you need it. But there, spirit is, Spirit's looking out for you. Spirit is there. Okay. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get our energy for Libra's person. I mean, the Libra, I'm sorry. Who am I reading for, Holy Spirit? Who am I reading for? Who am I reading for, Spirit guides, ancestors? Who am I reading for? Who's my, what's my Libra's energy? What's my Libra's energy, please? Okay, we have the King of Swords. Okay, King of Swords is very intelligent, logical, a master strategist. They like truth. They like justice. Um, this is your energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This just means that you're in your masculine energy, whether you're a male or a female, and you know how to, you have great discernment. You know how to get to the truth of the situation. King of Swords, that's your energy. On the bottom, we have the King of Wands. Wow, you have a lot of energy here. King of Wands, you could have some fire sign in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. King of Wands is a visionary, a leader, very charming, very well liked by the men or the ladies, okay? You could have both, of, you have both of those energies, okay? And then... Who's your, what's your person's energy, Libra? What's your person's energy? What's your person's energy? The Queen of Pentacles, okay. This is a person, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This could be somebody you're in a relationship with, or you could be married or not, either one. Queen of Pentacles is grounded, balanced, and stable. Very loving, generous, kind. That is their energy can be very stable there then this person whether it's a man or a woman is in their feminine energy okay then we have the king of pentacles uh oh okay also this person is very financially stable very grounded very a father figure okay father figure business owner very stable very concerned about their coin then we got your your energy here. Um, you guys could be in a in a relationship, in a committed relationship, or be married with the King and Queen of Pentacles here. But that's their energy too. So, all right. Uh, 
Okay, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors of the Highest White Light. What is my energy for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What does Libra need to know about their relationship, love matters for Libra and their person? What does Libra need to know for their highest good? Thank you, Spirit. What is their per what is their person's energy? What is Libra's person's person's energy? Let's make sure. What is Libra's person's energy? Okay. A lot of cards. Okay, we got. Wow, we got the Ace of Pentacles. That's the one that flipped over first. Ace of Pentacles. This person. They could be in a committed relationship as well. Maybe both of you guys are. I don't know. I don't know if you're with this person or not. Ace of Pentacles is a gift. An offer of financial stability. Somebody may want to come in. This person may want to come in and make you an offer. This is a gift from the universe. A financial offer. A, they want to bring you a gift. They want to give you stability. This is beautiful energy. Okay, the beginnings of, of abundance with the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. That's your person's energy. Because I got the Four of Pentacles. They could be uh, with another person or married to another person, or if you're not, if you're not with them, okay. If you're with them, then you guys are together. Just take it how it resonates. Four of Pentacles. This person is bored where they're at. They might be stable, financially stable, whoever they're with, but they are bored. They're discontent. For the Four of Pentacles, they're holding on, and they're also they're holding on to you. They're holding on to you, but they're feeling left out in the cold from you. So you may not be with this person. It's either you are or you're not. It could go both ways. Um, wow, there's a lot of cards in here. Let's just go ahead and take them. And there's the Empress on the bottom. That's your energy, Libra. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take this. Empress, Taurus, Libra. All right, first card that flipped over, crowning your spread, is the Magician. Yeah, somebody is trying to manifest you back into their life. I'm getting you're not with this person. The Magician. With the Ace of Pentacles, they're going to come in and make you an, a very stable offer in the future. That's what I'm seeing. The Hierophant. This could be, um, like I said, this could be, this is the foundation. Uh, either they could be married or you could be married or be in a committed relationship. Or this person, you could be like a spiritual teacher, very wise, have a lot of wisdom. Or your person has gained some kind of wisdom about you. Then we have death in the past. Death is Scorpio energy. Libra, you could be, you could have, in the past, you could have undergone a major transformation. Death, death, resurrection, rebirth, or the death of a relationship, okay? Five of Wands is coming up in your future. Five of Wands is the aftermath of a violent argument. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You see this right here? This is the bridge of, the bridge of heartbreak, the bridge of, there's, uh, your person um, in the future may put you in some competition or you person, you may be doing a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing with this person. If you haven't left, you're still, you may be with a partner you don't get along with. Because this card is like the aftermath of some very violent arguments. Okay, there may be some arguments. If you try to go towards somebody you're trying to go towards. Or if there, if this, this person comes towards you with this offer of the Ace of Pentacles, it could cause some major disruptions. Right here. Okay, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, a lot of drama. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is um, how you're seeing yourself. In this night, it's a little different because this deck is a, the, tarot de, de, the Tarot of the Night, Tarot de la Vie. Um, This Knight of Pentacles here has a plan. They're very determined. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. This, per this person is, a ver is very, very determined to get what they want. So it could be them. They, this person, whoever it is, they're going to come, I think is their energy. They're going to come in slow, whoever this Ace of Pentacles person is, magician. They're going to come in slow. They're going to take their time. They're going to take one step at a time. And that person, she's standing there with that sky in her hand, ready to cut off anything that gets in her way. This is a determined individual. So I'm getting, this is your just somebody trying to come in. And it could be somebody from your past that, that, you, that you ended something with that's going through a very major transformation they could find out who you are they might have to fight for you y'all might have to fight for this relationship with the five of wands okay they're seeing you as the empress as marriage material they're holding on to they've been holding on to that four of pentacles they've been manifesting you back this is a very i'm getting this their energy they're a very determined person 
they're going to do what they got to do. But they're going to go slow at it. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, what else? The moon. Yeah, this is how other people are seeing you, too. This is how other people could be seeing you. Or they could be seeing you as very mysterious, very intuitive, very psychic. Pisces, you could have Pisces in your chart, you or your person. But the moon could mean, like, uh, there's some secrets going on. There's some shit going on, some deception. Well, there's five of wands here. Okay. Could be that could be a secret, but it'll come out though eventually. Two of Wands. This is your hopes and fears. This could be you, Libra. This card is at a crossroads. You could be at a crossroads in your life where you may need to make a decision. Maybe you're wanting to go with this person actually, or you have some where you want a different path you want to take. And this person is holding a skull. And in this deck, there it's the skull is the crystal ball. They're trying to, to discern. What they want to do they're asking it questions so you could be like a tarot reader getting tarot readings or trying to figure out what you want to do next you're kind of you need to make some kind of decision here mm -hmm. the outcome is the hangman more pisces energy somebody got some pisces in their chart you or your person <coughs> this could be your person your person's going through dark night of the soul they've transformed and they figured out who you are. That now they realize you're their empress. You're their twin. They could be in a committed relationship with somebody else, okay? Or married even. But they're going through dark night of the soul. Look what this person's going through. I'm going to flip it upside down and show you. See that? That person is, your person's going through hell right now. They may be really having some violent arguments with with whoever they're with they're with somebody else they're with they're in a committee they're married or something with that king and queen of pentacles but your person's going through hell see right there they're going through some kind of dark night of the soul they feel stuck where they're at and it could be this king of swords right here okay actually that's your energy too right over here is your king of swords that's you king of swords You, the King of Swords can also be the truth. You can maybe this moon here and the King of Swords, you're going to be able to find out what's going on with this person. Okay, I'm getting this is like a twin flame thing. I can already tell. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you or your person. This is somebody um, going outside and somebody could be into some kind of like the moon. You could, you know, you could like be doing some kind of moon work, energy work. Somebody is. But they're asking the moon, which way should they go with that two of wands and the seven of cups? They're trying to figure out which way to go. They may have a lot of options, or you may also. Yeah, six of swords. Yep. So wherever you're at, or they're at, this person is going to move away from whoever they're with. And they're going to come towards you. All right? moving away. They're going to move. This is a very unstable situation they're in with the five of wands. Okay, it looks like they may be married or committed. All right. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. This um this could be I'm seeing the Empress on here. A lot of a lot of um commitment cards. Could be a twin flame. We're gonna find out. Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo means this all is gonna be this is gonna come into fruition in divine timing if this is what you want. And also with this ballerina the black swans in the back this is like somebody you you or your person could discover some hidden talent that they have you or them and you could be dealing with a leo with a strength card okay this person might have gone through a transformation as leo and they may have learned how to learned how to tame their ego but they're still dealing with a karmic with this five of wands you know this just may mean that they come towards you there's gonna be a lot of drama to deal with but you know, they're freaking determined. They're determined. With that. They're going to take it slow, though. All right. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Let's see. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to communicate for sure with you. Your person's going to come in and communicate with you face-to-face -face if they haven't already or telephone call, text. They could be sending you good energy. They might be projecting their energy onto you. It might not be a bad thing. Okay. All right, let's get some clarification. All right. Let's see. 
<clears throat> okay, what is this five of wands? Coming up in the future for Libra. What is this five of wands, please? What is this five of wands? What is this five of wands? Okay, the king of pentacles. Okay, yep. This is somebody that your person is dealing with. This is your person's energy, the queen. Whether it's a man or a woman. They're dealing with a king of pentacles. They're dealing with another partner. Could be married or, or committed. Committed relationship. Either one. The five of wands. If When um, this person is going to cause y'all some problems. Okay. In the future, there could be a change here. Y'all may be... Your person wants to come to you, but this person they're dealing with is going to come in and cause all sorts of drama. So you just be ready to fight. <laughs> okay, that's their partner, whoever they're with now. Okay, yep. Because what's going to happen is they're going to come in with an Ace of Pentacles. Because they've been holding on to you for a long time with the Four of Pentacles. They're going to come in with the Knight of Cups. They want to take, they want to leave who they're with, take this relationship to the next level, but they're with a king of pentacles, and there's going to be some damn drama here. Some major drama. Whew. Lord, how mercy. Alright. What's the moon? What's the moon card? What's the moon card, spirit? What does this moon card mean? What's the moon card? Four of Wands. Okay. Moon card. This person on this card is a little different. I'm verifying the moon. Alright. Other people can see you. They see that you're not happy. Alright. They see you as very mysterious. You could look like you're happy. And this Four of Wands is a twin flame. But in this case, there's a fairy here in her house. And she's very depressed. You could be depressed where you're at. You both could be feeling the same way. Yet, Ace of Wands, you want a passionate new beginning with this person. You want it too. All right. Seven of Pentacles twice. Mirroring energy. Seven of Cups. Mirroring energy. But this, but this Seven of Cups, this Leo strength card, they've been asking Source what to do, which cup to choose. Well, it looks like they've decided. Seven of Cups. See that person held? They chose you as their cup. All right. They want they want you. Wow. And yeah, here it is. Queen of Wands. Your person is the Queen of Wands. Whether they're a man or a woman, they could be in feminine energy. Queen of Wands is very determined to get their way. It's best not to mess with the Queen of Wands. Don't get in her way or his way when they're trying to accomplish something. Because you're going to have a problem. They're not going to have no problem fighting. In this, in the, this is your person. They're going to have no problem. They're very determined on this person. This Knight of Pentacles is very determined on here. They've been manifesting you back. They've been holding. It could be somebody from your past that you, that you, that left you or you broke up with. They, fi they figured out who you are. So we have a couple on here. You're the King of Wands, and they're the Queen, man or woman. That's a couple. King of Wands, King and Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles. This person. This Queen of Wands wants to come in. Man or woman offer you the Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. Because they've been holding on to you for a long time. They see you as an Empress. Look at that. And we got the King of Swords again. This is the truth. The Eight of Wands. They want to move forward with you. Here's the Empress again. This is your energy. Wow. Page of Cups. They want to come in and express their love. Apologize to you. They, Wow. Two of Wands. Both of y'all are at a crossroads. This is the fairy trying at the balcony, trying to one foot on the balcony, one foot off, trying to figure out which way to go. Both of y'all are in the same. The Seven of Wands. Your person's going to stand up and do what's best for them. Temperance. This relationship is divinely guided. There's a Seven of Cups again. They figured out which cup they want. They might have had a lot of options before with that Queen of Wands. Seven of Pentacles again. Two of Cups. Yep, two of cups. We have a bunch of twin flame cards. The nine of wands. Okay. 
They could have been abused. Your person could have been abused or injured where they're at, but everything's going to work out in y'all's favor, the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Wow. Yeah, they've had tower. They've had some kind of tower wherever they're at. They've real the powerful realization of who you are. But this is a, a soulmate twin flame. A somebody could live at a distance from you with a three of pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, and we got, yeah, look at this. We got the lovers and the five of cups and the eight of swords. Okay. Something ended with them. They could have left you in the past. Now they've transformed. They know who you are. They know you're their soulmate or twin flame. Because we got the lovers. And we got the lovers. Gemini energy. We got the five of cups. Regret. They could have re regret this. They could have re regretted ended some, ending something with you. Now they want to come back. Because they feel trapped where they're at. Very trapped. Mm hmm Wow. Yeah, three of cups, three of pentacles. This third party is still around. Somebody in here, in this card, there's a baby in there. Somebody could be pregnant. I'm not trying to, you know, there's an empress over there. Oh, lordy. Knight of pentacles again. King of wands again. Death again. All right, all this is like mirroring energy. Both of y'all could be going through a transformation. Mm -mm -mm. This cycle between this uh, person that they're with is going to end. And you're going to start a new one with the chariot. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Anything else? King and Queen of Wands. Anything else we need to know for the King and Queen of Wands? Two of Pentacles, this came out reversed. King. Okay, like I said, with the Seven of Cups, your person holding that cup, that was a verifier. They did. They had a lot of options, but they're choosing you now. And with the Two of Pentacles, that's the clarity. They were juggling you and someone else, but now they've had the clarity. They've made, they've made their choice. That they have, The rest is up to you, Libra. Yeah, because they see in you as the Ten of Pentacles. This could be a Ten of Pentacles. This is like... Oh, my God. The Page of Swords and the Magician again. Yep. All these cards. Five of Wands. All of it. Yep. The Star. Someone could be a star here. It could be healing. Yep. Yeah, I'm getting... There's a Five of Swords, Five of Wands coming out. Oh, this is right here. This is coming up. When this person tries to come make a move towards you, if you accept... Oh, God. There's going to be a fucking big battle. The Five of Wands is physical fighting, arguing. The Five of Swords is mental. It could be a whole group of people against you. Against this connection. Okay? So it is going to be a fight. It depends on if you want this or not, Libra. Alright. We got the Four of Wands, the Two of Cups, um, the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, um, the Hierophant, the Star. I mean, Three of Cups. All the all the twin, most of the, all the twin flame cards are here. Four of Wands. I did mention that already. But, like I said, King and Queen of Wands. Yep. And you got the Ten of Pentacles here. So, this could turn, this could end up being you guys getting in a committed relationship. But this is going to be a big old battle here. I see it. Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, let's see. Your person could be a Leo, a Scorpio. Um, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Hmm. Another Libra. Um, a Gemini or a Virgo. And I got Temperance. Sagittarius is on here too. Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo. That's what I'm seeing for you guys. Mm-hmm. So. But there is going, there's going, this is, the shit is going to hit the fan. If you take their offer, they're going to come and offer it to you. Ace of Pentacles. They're going to come and offer it for you, to you. All right, this King of Pentacles, they were somebody else though, but they're going to, they figured out. They're not gonna they're not gonna juggle you anymore in the future. They've figured out who they want. It's this Queen of Wands here. Okay, you're the king, they're the queen. They could be in feminine energy, you could be in masculine. Big old 
The shit's going to hit the fan with its five of, five of Wands and Five of Swords if you take this offer. I'm just saying. And it may not, it may take a while for it to happen with the Seven of Pentacles. Because somebody's going slow. Somebody is very determined to make this work. Okay? But Libra, that's all I have. I hope it helped. And I will see you in my next video. God bless. Happy Halloween, guys. Okay? See you later.